Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. And today we're talking about this young stimulus check. Okay, so let's get right into it. A disclaimer, these are my own personal opinions. This is about to be a whole rant because I am sick of it. Uh, when I tell you, I cannot tell you how many people on my Facebook page complaining about the fact that they haven't gotten their stimulus check yet. Oh, I want my $1,200. Oh, I want my $1,000. Why haven't we gotten our money yet? The Democrats are holding up our money. It's like people losing their jobs out here. A lot of people have lost their jobs. The Republicans are saying, let's just cut everybody a $1,200 check. I think it's like a $1,200 and the kids get a certain amount of money or whatever. Let's just cut everybody one check, one time, and then just let them fend for themselves. People out here who have worked their jobs for years are losing their jobs. People out here who were counting on their next check to be able to pay their rent, they're living check to check because that's how their job pays them. These are people who are out here who are struggling and stressed. And then on top of that, their kids are not able to be in school. So with all of the stress that they're facing, they also have to homeschool their kids sufficiently so that when the kids do go back to school, they won't be behind. And y'all sitting up here worried about getting one $1,200 check when the, Democrat is, the Democrats are saying, how about we cut them a check? They trying to do the stimulus and give more unemployment. Now, my thing is, even if they like, we're not doing the stimulus, we just going to raise the unemployment amount. I feel like that's even better. The people who really need help right now, in my opinion, are all the people that have lost their jobs. People who were doing their jobs, being good workers, being loyal workers, coming in every day, not doing stuff for their kids, not going to events for their kids because they have to go in and do doubles and they have to go in and do this at work and go in and do that at work. These people lost their jobs over a pandemic that had nothing to do with them. It's not their fault that it's a pandemic out here, but these people have lost their jobs. And people are not even thinking about the fact that what really needs to happen is these people need to get more unemployment. They need to be able to pay their bills. These bills ain't going nowhere. They're like, okay, well, you know, we'll put the bills off for this month. The Democrats are like, okay, well, we're gonna make unemployment. We're gonna give them more money in unemployment. And we're also going to make it where don't have to deal with the mortgage for a couple of months. Don't have to deal with rent for a couple of months. Don't have to deal with all of these loans and all of these other bills for a couple of months. And people are like, nah, skip that. We want our $1,200 checks. Are y'all that greedy? Is the world that selfish and heartless that you would actually put yourself above the people who actually need it, which are the people who are unemployed now? due to this so forget the fact that the republicans were offering everybody one twelve hundred dollar check but they're gonna give the airplanes the uh airports and all of these other businesses they're not able to make money because we can't come outside trillions like they put they put aside trillions of dollars for them and y'all cool with them giving all of these businesses that's already making money, that already has money, that ain't worried about how they about to pay their next uh, bill. They not worried about how they finna make rent this month. They ain't worried about none of that because they done made hundreds of thousands of dollars this month off of all of the people that lost their jobs that got to stay in the house. So you mean to tell me that everybody is cool with the Republicans paying all of these businesses taking out trillions of dollars, putting trillions of dollars up to the side to pay these businesses, but they're not going to give trillions of dollars to the, to the people that lost their jobs. And the one thing that's killing me is why are unemployed people saying anything about anything? First of all, your life shouldn't, your life should not have changed. Not one iota because of the pandemic. You already got work. So it's not like, oh, I'm missing out on money. Oh, I got fired from my job that I didn't have in the first place. You unemployed. So why are you talking about anything? Then people just get their taxes. People got their tax money. This is the reason why people are always like, you know, make sure you save some of your tax money because you never know if you're going to need it. So these people went, they, a lot of people, a lot of people, I ain't saying all, I don't know everybody, but a lot of people got their tax money and they stunning in front of it like a lot of people do when they get their tax money. Now, 
y'all ain't got no tax money. Y'all still got bills. Y'all got all of this stuff. So y'all here twelve hundred dollars, and they like, oh yes, 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 give me my twelve hundred dollars. No, you don't need no twelve hundred dollars. You, you, you didn't. Nothing in your life changed. Nothing in your life changed due to the pandemic. If there's some unemployed people that's watching this, and your financial status changed because of the pandemic, please explain to me how. Because I'm, I'm always up for being educated but i just personally can't see it because a lot of people lost their job not only did they lose their job but to slap them in the face even more they like we finna hire a hundred thousand fifty thousand seventy five thousand temporary workers to work these same jobs that they just fired people who've been working these jobs for years from people who work from home losing their jobs people who work at stores losing their jobs, people who worked at restaurants losing their jobs, anybody who is not working right now. A lot of these people lost their jobs. All of the people who had to stay at home because they had to self-quarantine, These, a lot of these people lost their jobs. So it's not just the people who, it's not just the people who actually went into work, it's people who work from home too. Everybody, everybody is, everybody is losing their jobs. And so they're putting, the Republicans are putting aside trillions of dollars to bail out these businesses that already had millions of dollars. But they don't want to help bail out the people who work at these jobs to help make these businesses millions of dollars. And people cool with that? Y'all cool with that? But y'all, because y'all want $1,200? Y'all want $1,200? Think. Think. Think that's like that's like somebody saying, I'm gonna give you I give you five hundred dollars or five one hundred dollar bills. It's like either way, it's it's not enough. It's like don't don't give me a piece of meat. I want the whole cow because that's what I deserve. If I fed that cow and I took care of that cow and I made sure that that cow was good, don't give me a piece of meat out that cow. I want that whole cow. That's my cow. The people who lost their jobs, these are people who put time and effort into building up these jobs. You rich people, rich people don't work. Rich people don't work. Rich people hire working class people to work for them so that they can continue to be rich. That's that's the that's the benefit of being rich. You think the person who the, the owner of Walmart or whoever is the top person at Walmart, you think they sitting around like, oh, let me go put my vest on and work at a Walmart? No. They sitting at home making sure that the Walmart workers working at Walmart. They sitting at home saying, okay, well, we ain't finna lose all of this money paying all of these people this money. So we just finna, we finna do what we got to do with them. And then we're going to hire temporary workers where we don't have to pay them as much. And we don't have to give them no benefits. We ain't got to do none of that stuff. They can legit just come and work like slaves for us and let that be that. People who work at stores, people who work at hospitals, CNAs who legit do not get enough respect in this game. Because CNAs are working at hospitals and they working at nursing homes, helping take care of a lot of your parents, a lot of your loved ones. And people have the nerve to look their nose down at CNAs. These people at nursing homes are getting the coronavirus and these CNAs have to take care of them. So guess what? If all of these older people are, co are contracting coronavirus, then the workers at the nursing home are contracting coronavirus. What's going to happen to the people? What's going to happen? Everybody's going to be sick. Sick people can't take care of sick people. It just don't, it don't work like that. It just don't. People need to wake up. Like I'm when I tell you, I'm so disgusted at my Facebook feed of all of these people. Just I want my twelve hundred dollars. I want my stimulus check. I want my stimulus check. It's people at home who don't have a job. They don't have a job anymore. Like no more checks due to something that they had absolutely no control over and people are so selfish and people are so heartless that they're not even thinking about the fact that these people don't have no jobs these are the people that need the money not the people that was already sitting at home not the people that's like i'm mad i gotta stay in the house so i deserve twelve hundred dollars no you don't no you don't the people who was working and who lost their jobs who lost their livelihoods who have to wait till Lord knows who, because who finna come and interview somebody during, during the coronavirus uh, pandemic? Who? Who finna let you come into their office? Who? 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 Not nobody. Not nobody. Nobody is holding interviews right now. I, I can't think of a, a, a group of people that would be crazy enough to be holding interviews right now, person-to-person -person interviews. People ain't hiring people right now like that. 
Because don't nobody want to be around nobody because everybody's scared somebody got something, especially now that they like, oh, you can have no symptoms and still have coronavirus. Now you really don't know who has it. But instead of people being mindful of what the what is actually happening and being more respectful of the fact that the Democrats are actually, and this ain't even about a Democrat or Republican type thing. This is about people who are thinking about other people. I wouldn't care if the Republicans came up with the idea. I wouldn't care if they came together as one and came up with the idea. I wouldn't care if somebody off the street whispered through the White House gates that this is something that y'all should do and they took that advice and brought it to the people. The fact that a matter is, is people who are not working because they lost their job due to this pandemic that they had no control over. Those are the people that need the money. Those are the people that need the money. Now, people who people who are at home who are not able to get paid right now, but they still get a job. Yeah, they should get something because they still have bills and stuff like that. But unemployed people like what? Why? Why? Why y'all saying anything? Why? What? What? What happened in y'all life? What? What? Everybody kids at home. So what? You mad because your kids at home? My son at home. I'm loving it. We had homeschooling all of that. He know what's time homeschooling go down all of that. Is we got a whole schedule going on. I'm loving it. I'm loving the extra time. Ain't nobody see you have a bunch of kids that you don't want to be around. Nobody told you to do that. It's plenty of people got six, seven, eight, nine kids right now. Excited. That they get to do all of this extra stuff with their kids that they weren't able to do because their kids been at school. So it's like, what, 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 what you got a problem with? Why unemployed? Why, why is any person in the universe that is unemployed complaining about anything? How did your life change? Your finances should be the same. Whatever you was doing to hustle and get whatever you needed to get, you should still be able to do that. You should still be able to do that. If you was doing the legal things to make a little, a little change. You can go outside. You can go outside. But it's just like, I just, when I tell y'all, like, I was like, what's wrong with the people? What's wrong with them? Y'all will legit take a one-time payout over not having to pay rent or mortgage for months? Not having to worry about paying these little petty bills that a lot of people got to pay? Well, I ain't going to call them petty. But bills that are smaller than mortgage or rent or car notes. Like y'all don't y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want to have stuff postponed and and things that y'all just don't have to y'all just not gonna have to pay back. Y'all don't want the people who lost their jobs to get more unemployment when they have to go on unemployment because they lost their job due to a pandemic that they had no control over, and they gotta sit at home and collect these unemployment checks while while places replace the people that they fire with temporary workers. That they could just dispose of at any time and don't have to pay them what they was paying them. People that work these jobs that don't nobody else want to work, work the hardest. They work the hardest. The absolute hardest. People need to, they need to show more compassion. People need to have more respect for other people. And people need to think about people other than themselves because this is ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. I am disgusted to the top like i couldn't be more disgusted about the people in the world right now like open your mind open your heart open your soul and just understand that there are people that when this whole pandemic is over with they have to find a job because they lost their job that they were good workers at so uh yeah um that's it so, as always, you guys, that's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries, and always remember to enjoy the journey.